Today is a perfect day. My name is MJ Esteban and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, um, let's talk about the immigration process. Kasi naman guys, di ba? Sayang yung effort mo, sayang yung time, sayang yung ticket, sayang yung pera, sayang yung leave, sayang yung efforts, di ba? Sayang lahat guys, if ma-offload ka lang. Ma-offload ka lang. Hey, what happened? Sa isang tanong na hindi mo nasagot. Anong sagot? Sa tanong? <laughs> yun guys, so talakayin natin yung kung anong dapat gagawin if you are an employed traveler. So, iba lahat naman tayo gusto mapag-travel kahit na wala tayong trabaho. As long as we are financially stable, guys, so as long as may kakayahan tayong mag-travel outside the country, paano, paano ba yung process? So, para hindi ma-offload if ikaw ay unemployed. Okay, guys? So, if you're interested, just keep on watching. So, first thing to do, if unemployed ka, dapat meron ka passport na at least valid until 6 months. Kasi guys, meron mga times na passport mo, hindi mo pala na malayan na expire na pala or next after 3 months, is mag-travel ka ngayon. So yun guys, dapat secure your passport na until 6 months pa yung validity niya. Kasi sometimes, kumukuha tayo ng passport tapos hindi natuloy yung mga travel, travel goals natin. Yun guys, so Hey! What happened? Observe your validity or expiration. The next guys is your round trip ticket. Sana guys dito sa round trip ticket, dapat printed siya. Huwag nyo nang pakita yung phone nyo sa immigration officer. Kasi merong immigration officer na traditional na kailangan nila printed. So pag sila bing asan yung round trip ticket nyo, so ibigay agad yung ticket nyo guys. So yun. Round trip ticket. Next is your hotel booking, hotel accommodation, or hotel voucher. So, printed it guys. So, dapat, so dapat guys, yung hotel booking nyo, hotel accommodation, naka-print na din siya guys. Kasi, yun nga, yung mga immigration officer na susuriin ka talaga, parang... Parang na-stress na siya sa dadaming tanong na nabibigin daw niya sa isang araw. Ayan guys, so dapat printed siya. Ayan. Next is, ang nagsustento sa'yo, if may business ka, kasi wala ka lang trabaho, syempre may business ka. So, pakita mo yung mga uh, business permit mo, or ano ba yung meron ka, na pwede mo patunayan, na kaya mo mag-travel, like sa so financial statement, bank statement. And guys, if you have a business. Pero, if uh, parents, uh, sponsor ng parents mo, guys, so syempre, pakita mo yung anong trabaho, syempre, tatalangin ka ng, par ng parents, tatalangin ka ng immigration officer, if, yun guys, if Ah, parents mo, anong work? Anong work ng parents mo, ng father mo, ng mother mo? Bank statement nila. Yan, guys. And if kapatid mo naman ang sponsor sa'yo, pwede, pwede yun siya. So, hingaan, nyo, hingaan ka ng financial capability na uh, mag-sponsor sa'yo. And lastly, ang girlfriend, boyfriend, or spouse mo, husband mo, wife mo na mag-sponsor sa'yo, syempre, hanapan ka talaga ng picture nyo if di pa kayo kasal or boyfriend, girlfriend na kayo. Hanapan talaga kayo ng oh, picture nyo yung dalawa. Kailan kayo nag-meet? Yun, yun, ganun. Kailan kayo nag-meet? So, anong date yun? So, ulang beses sa akin ang kita. Ayan, guys. So, dapat prepared kayo. 5 years, 10 years, ganun. Para, guys, maniwala yung immigration officer sa'yo. Next is, so, just in case naman, so, tatawagin ka lang meron kang debit card or credit card. Siyempre, dapat meron ka, guys. Or cash. Ilang. So, if in case naman, nakasama mo yung boyfriend or girlfriend mo, or husband, wife. So, medyo wala namang problema ang ganun uh, na encounter as long as sa inyong dalawa may merong uh, financial capability or kayang mag-travel nyo na dalawa. How to prepare? So, additional na ito, guys. So, para mas lalong hindi kayo ma-offload. So, syempre, pumunta kayo, guys, sa airport ng mas maaga. At least 4 hours or 5 hours uh, sa flight nyo, guys. Kasi marami pang proseso. Especially if outside the country yung nyo or pupuntahan nyo. Kasi guys, meron pang immigration. Ang haba pa ng pila. Magsusulat ka pa ng departure card mo. Tapos babayad ka pa ng travel tax mo. Mag-check in ka pa. Mag-boarding pa. So ayun guys, so maraming proseso. I mean, daming proseso para hindi ka malate. Kasi 
pag nandun ka na sa immigration officer, tsaka um, marapit na yung ano, 20 minutes flight mo na, so magkataranta ka na. So hindi mo na alam yung, hindi mo na alam yung isasagot mo sa immigration officer if tarantang-taranta ka na, di ba guys? So dapat ahead of time, na ahead of time, maybe 4 to 5 hours, if first time mag-travel guys, if unemployed ka. Ayan guys, so best advice. And how to answer, how to answer the immigration officer guys. So be confident, be, be confident, be pleasant, be prepared sa mga tanong ng mga immigration kasi natin alam ang immigration kung ano yung nasa isip niya kasi kahit na cellphone mo, mabuksan niya nila, email mo, email ad ka, messenger mo, Facebook mo, tarangin pa yung parents mo, mother, father, yun, lahat, lahat, lahat guys. Ayan. So I hope natulungan ko kayo sa mga tanong nyo sa akin. If... If you like this video, just hit the thumbs up. If meron kayo mga tanong sa akin, questions, reactions, just leave the comment down below. And today is a great day. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.